Hello, my name is Angie Goodman and I work for the Lansing Board of Water and Light. Think about your morning routine. You probably showered, washed your hands, or brushed your teeth, right? Have you ever thought about where that water comes from? Well, you're in luck. Using this Enviroscape, which is available through Eagle's Lending Station, we're gonna learn about where drinking water comes from, how it's treated, and how it gets to your home. Let's get started. There are two natural sources of water that water treatment plants can draw from. Surface water, such as lakes, rivers, and streams, or groundwater. Surface water often contains dirt, leaves, and other organic matter that need to be removed. Groundwater, however, is free of this debris due to the natural filtration process that happens as groundwater soaks through the ground. That's why it's called groundwater. The Lansing Board of Water and Light gets 100% of its water from the Saginaw Aquifer, an underground geological formation of sand, gravel, and porous rock that holds large amounts of water. This groundwater is largely covered by a solid shale layer, which provides extra protection from possible contamination, like oil or harmful chemicals. BWL gets access to this water through wells, which are drilled deep into the ground that fill with groundwater, which is brought to the surface by pumping the well. Fun fact, the Lansing Board of Water and Light has 125 wells that are about 400 feet deep throughout the Lansing area. This is as deep as 10 school buses lined in a row. When this water reaches the water treatment plant, it's very hard. This means it has calcium and magnesium, which form a solid white buildup on faucets and fixtures. To reduce the hardness, we add lime and soda ash, a process known as softening. These additives cause the calcium and magnesium to solidify and clump together, forming large particles called flock. The large flock are heavy and sink into the bottom of the settling basin, a process known as sedimentation. The softening process makes the water tastier and better for washing dishes, laundry, and for the shampoo to lather in your hair. The next step in the treatment process is called filtration. This is when the newly clear water flows from the settling basin through layers of filtering materials, such as sand, carbon, or gravel. We are using this cotton ball to represent these filtering materials. These materials can be used individually or together to clean the water by trapping and removing even the smallest particles as the water passes through it. While filtration removes most germs and unwanted contents from the water, Water treatment plants take additional steps to ensure that your drinking water is as healthy as possible. Some treatment plants use chlorine, ozone, or ultraviolet light to kill off any remaining germs. The Lansing Board of Water and Light uses a mixture of chlorine and ammonia called chloramine. During the same stage, BWL adds phosphate to form a protective layer in pipes and plumbing, preventing harmful metals from entering the drinking water. Finally, we add just enough fluoride to help prevent tooth decay and keep your teeth strong. This blue dye represents all the solutions added to your water. After these steps are completed, what happens? Well, this water needs to be stored until it's ready to be used at your home. Today, we learned where water comes from, how it's treated, and how it gets to your home. But did you know there are a lot of things that happen behind the scenes to protect the quality of the water you drink? That's where Eagle plays an important role. The staff at Eagle keep an eye on water treatment plants around Michigan to ensure they are following the rules and properly testing the water you drink. Eagle also trains the people who work for your community's water supplier. Thank you for learning about the water distribution process with me. If you have any questions about your drinking water, contact your local water utility. To learn more about Eagle, visit their website at michigan.gov eagle Thank you for watching.